Arizona is in a housing shortage and according to some experts, needs 250,000 additional units in order to keep up with demand. Today at the office of Congressman Juan Siscomani, area stakeholders met to discuss how housing might become a reality for more people. Affordable housing looked different back then than it does now. Housing of all price points are in demand across Arizona. It's meeting that demand that's the challenge. Here in Tucson specifically, the average home price in Tucson is $330,000. That's not affordable to a lot of people. Those sort of prices leave many on the outside looking in, even when it comes to renting, especially seniors. But a lot of seniors are already on fixed incomes and rents are just really out of reach for them. Megan Headings is director of Family Housing Resources. The local nonprofit connects potential low-income homeowners with down payment assistance programs. The Federal Home Loan Bank lends to local banks and financial institutions to make that possible. And it's huge. It really enables a lot of low-income um, home buyers to be able to purchase. So they assist with that down payment assistance, which is really critical. We've done stuff in Sierra Vista, Marana, Wilcox, and Tucson itself. So. We've had, in the past few years, we've done about 500 units of housing. Congressman Siskamani is also backing the bank for helping homeowners. Creating this conversation, advocating for the right issues, being a voice for those uh, financial institutions uh, around the three states that the people here represent. If you'd like to learn more about the Federal Home Loan Bank, its history and its mission, visit our website, kega9.com. From the corner of Swan and Pima, I'm Eddie Celaya, Kega 9.